Hello guys, welcome again to Weston's Toy Reviews. This is my custom uh, Mistress of Flame review. And this here, I built out of CCBS, uh, Bionicle, and some Hero Factory parts. Um, the Hero Factory parts I used were mostly for the head, a uh, few armor pieces, and then the rest is like C CCBS from the new Star Wars line and uh, the new Bionicle line. This is, staff is made completely out of Technic Bionicle parts. And her inner shell has a lot of, like her in insides is a lot of uh, Bionicle parts. Um, so getting right into it going to take a look at some articulation her head is on a ball joint so she can look left right down she can look up and she can tilt her head to the side as well um, shoulders on ball joints uh, these armor pieces most of them can move around to accommodate any movement that needs to be done so you can like move her arm out a bit more. This one can be like moved back and it can come out a bit more. Her elbows, she has a bend and she has a ball so she has swivel there as well. Um, and her hand is on a ball joint. She has like nothing at the waist. Um, but this panel can move to kind of, you know, just move around. Uh, her hips are on ball joints. They got the friction extenders, so that helps out with her standing. Even though her knees are kind of what gives out, her knees are on a just a hinge, and her feet are on ball joints. Um, I took the cape here from the Obi Wan figure from the uh, Star Wars line. So she has this brown cape. I didn't cut it yet. I want, I was planning on cutting it down at the bottom into the, uh, cause there's like strips at the bottom where in the comic. Anyway, you can kind of see what the back looks like there. Um, you can look at the back of the legs also. Not, not the prettiest thing. I might put some more parts in there uh, just to kind of clean that up a bit. So um, there's that. Uh, to look at the inner workings, you kind of have to you pull the chest off and you can see not much going on down here at the bottom. Um, let me. It's just the uh, main skeleton piece here. There's a piece here. There you can see it, like that. It's like a sea of black getting lost in a sea of brown. But uh, there's that piece there. Um, there's like another armor attachment piece in the back, and then like a few Technic pieces up here. Um, the head is on a stem used for the um, what was it? It was the uh. The Anika, I think. No, the uh, the ones after that, the later uh, Bionicle that had that type of uh, neck piece would have been the Anika. I think so. No, they had. Never mind. Um. Anyway, let's look at the head. Uh, the head was an older. Hero Factory head, and I've shaved it down, re-sculpted it to look a bit more feminine, and then this helmet was two Hero Factory pieces, it was like an orange skull cap type deal, and then it was a gray uh, piece that wrapped around the front, and I've recarved that into these horns, as you can see, very very nicely done I guess. 
and then this is just some pieces that I extended that up. Now, it's not 100% comic accurate, um, but it's close enough for representation that people can look at her and say, hey, that's the Mistress of Flame, you know. As for the staff, it's not really the best. Um, as you can see, the head is... I tried what I could with this, and I think it turned out pretty well. And it's the same on the other side. It has a stud in there as well. And then the rest is just, you know, two longer pieces with a coupler in the middle. So, anyway, that is my custom Mistress of Flame. That's pretty much everything to say about her. So, thanks for watching. You can like, uh, subscribe, and share if you want. Um, this is Weston, Weston's Toy Reviews. Signing off.